Hi guys, um, my name is, is Alin Jarpela and I'm presenting the Open Devices program. How many of you have heard before about the Open Devices program from Sony? Okay, nice. How many of you are uh, ROM developers or have built a ROM before? Nice, thank you. So, who am I? I'm a software and hardware engineer that have st started uh, development with Community in 2006 with uh, Onyx DA. I have played with HTC Windows and Android devices, and then I have switched to Sony Windows and Android devices. I have created the Free Xperia project in 2010 with the ambition of unlocking the Xperia uh, phones and provide an open source alternative. In 2014, I have joined the uh, Sony uh, as uh, the manager of the Open Devices program. Open Devices program uh, goal is to provide an innovation and development platform. We offer support for 21 devices and more will come, all uh, based on Qualcomm platform starting from 2014. Uh, this project uses one kernel for all devices, one camera for uh, framework for all devices, uh, which is still work in program, progress, and needs zero patches to compile and work. Uh, we provide basic connectivity like GSM, Bluetooth, NFC, wire, wireless, everything that you get when you compile the Android uh, from, uh, uh, <coughs> sorry, from Google. Uh, those are the supported devices. We support everything from the old dual core M2, uh, MSM8226, like uh, M2, E2, T3, and T2 Ultra, uh, up to the newest devices that we have just launched, and that is the MSM8994, uh, including the Z3 Plus, Z5 Compact, Z5, Z5 Premium, and tablet. Since all those devices are supported in the same repository and the same uh, kernel, the features that uh, work on one will work on all. And if you apply a patch to, to fix something on one of them, you will actually fix all devices. Uh, the same thing, if you add a feature, it will be on all devices. Uh, what are the steps to, to build uh, and flash this uh, software. You have to go to our website and unlock your bootloader. You have to download and build the AWSP code. Uh, you can, after that, start experimenting with open source possibilities and start innovation. And in the end, you can think about future IoT and why not repurposing. <coughs> As I was say saying before, it's enough to go to our website. The uh, address is in, in the down part of my slide. Uh, and you will simply get the ability to run unsigned kernel images after you, you unlock your bootloader. Uh, you can use your, our hardware uh, to flash custom ROMs and create new experience and innovate, to innovate on our hardware. Uh, please note that unlocking bootloader will deactivate proprietary Sony functions. Uh, our goal with this program is to provide as, uh, an as good as possible vanilla AOSP uh, experience for unlocked devices. We want to uh, provi provide a base for custom ROMs. Priorita we prioritize the latest modems uh, models. We provide long-term uh, support for all devices, including the old uh, ones, like, like I said, the 2014 dual-core devices. And you also get the latest version of Android. We have published the guide how to build Android M seven days after Google has released the open source code. Our uh, ambition is to drive innovation, to work with external community and developers. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this 
is the kernel layout. We uh, have based it on several branches so that you can easily follow uh, the changes and you, so that you can easily uh, rebase on maybe a new kernel version. Uh, so you have a Qualcomm base, you have a MISC Qualcomm uh, branch, which is uh, patches from Qualcomm that fix various platform support. MISC up, it's uh, patches that come from uh, different uh, kernel projects. And MISC dev, it's patches from us or uh, other community developers. Then you have drivers, which is uh, the drivers used by our hardware. Um, and you have platform configuration, which is mostly DTS configuration. <clears throat> In the same time, you have the hardware abstraction layer, and we are trying to provide uh, compatibility with existing Google One, where it's not possible. We are open sourcing the uh, whole, and our goal is to uh, use as few binaries as possible because having binaries can limit your innovation. So even if you get a hole with less functionality, you can still innovate since you have the code. But if you get only binaries, let's say, you cannot do anything. And then, as I have promised, a long time ago, we have looked into one of the most desired parts of the open source, and that is uh, the open source camera solution. We are still working on it, uh, but as you can see in, uh, in my slide, it supports all the platforms in one uh, um, code. Uh, it also rewrites everything clean so that you can reuse it and innovate on it. And we will release the, the camera binaries which implement our sensors. Uh, I don't have a specific time frame for it, but soon it's all I can say in this moment. You will have a, a complete hardware platform with a complete software stack so that you can start innovating on it. Uh, since we want it to be as transparent as possible, this is the current status, and probably this is how it will look on the initial launch. Please note that the camera is developer grade. It is not uh, matching the Sony uh, stock camera quality, and also it has issues with stability. The whole reason for releasing this uh, camera early is so that community can start innovating and so that you can adjust your custom ROM trees to our new solution. I know that in the past, a lot of you have hacked the camera with worse results or let's say fisheye bug and a lot of other problems. Uh, with this camera solution, you have the code or most of it. And that means that you can start innovating and there is no longer the need to, to hack and lose a lot of weeks just trying to figure out how it works. Uh, and then you have the Android. The Android part, it's the one that all, you always want to have the latest. Uh, and with this program, since everything is open source, you can always have the latest. As I was mentioning, we have launched seven days after Google uh, M release. We have launched the guide so that you can build. Uh, the same happened with uh, Lollipop MR1. Seven days after the release, you had the guide, you had the new binaries, so that you can start innovating. Our goal is to drive innovation. And here I have some uh, ideas of what you can actually do with the Open Devices uh, program. You can build custom ROMs, uh, and we have a good example and good support from Cyanogen, AOKP, and Paranoid Android. <coughs> but in the same time, maybe you don't want to, to build just another custom ROM. Maybe you want to experiment with different uh, operating systems. And then you can start uh, looking on Sailfish, you can start looking on Ubuntu. And you can start looking on uh, Mozilla Firefox OS. Is there an Ubuntu ROM for Sony? Uh, 
Uh, no, there is not a build room. It is the possibilities for you to innovate. So you can, you can basically build any operating system since everything is open source. And in my next slide, I have something that it's already built. Mozilla has published a nice article about how to build Firefox OS on our devices. And the instructions are in the down of my page, down part. Uh, you can go and build your own Firefox OS for 21 Sony devices. For some of them, you have to add small differences because they don't support all devices. But you have everything on GitHub. And also, you can see somebody, actually two developers, have uh, ported Firefox OS on our devices based on the same program, Open Devices. And it works nice. It, it is still as buggy as hell, but it shows the, the potential of investigating or innovating on this hardware. And now, because I have talked a lot about innovation, let's talk a little about repurposing. Usually, when your phone is old and you no longer use it, it just ends up in a drawer. Or if you smash the screen, then you always count how much it will cost for you to repair it. And if the cost for a new screen is too high, you will simply throw it in a drawer. What happens if we think outside the box and we think that we have a very powerful from two to eight core platform that has uh, embedded connectivity, it has wireless and Bluetooth, it has GSM, and you have all the sensors, cameras, maybe a battery, or maybe you want to replace the battery for repurposing, and a display, or maybe the display is also broken, but you have HDMI. Compare this one to a regular development board, which is usually weak, and you can think of a lot of projects. While I was in, uh, in Moscow for um, DroidCon Moscow, uh, a developer asked me if uh, he can build a web server on a board like this with eight core system and three gigabytes of RAM. I think that you can build a really nice web server. Uh, you can do a lot more than that. Your mind sense sets the, the innovation bounds for this one. You, ha you just have a, a powerful hardware and everything is open source. What you can do with it, it's simply up to you. This project was started in 2014 by Sony for community. And we try to work as much as possible with community. <coughs> So we uh, have published source code repositories on GitHub. Uh, we are active on XDA forum so that you can post uh, questions and uh, get replies. We have our own forum on the, the Sony uh, website, uh, but that one it's only for developers. And then we have created the reward developer program. Reward Developer Program uh, rewards developers that works with us. So if a developer contribute, contributes commits back to Sony, those commits are counted every two months. And the person that has the most accepted commits every two months gets a new Sony device. Those are the people that till now, since the, the program has started, have won one of our devices and the respect from community because they have fixed and helped community get a be better software. As many of you have already been part of the XDA or Android barbecue, uh, my slides usually are short. And then I'm happy to hear more about what do you think, what do you like, and what would you like uh, from this program. and what would you actually want from us to help you? So if you have any ideas, please speak. 
Um, the part with spare parts, I would say that it, it's easy to, to find them on uh, mm. online sales from broken devices. We are selling phones. Okay, so no, no ideas. Okay guys, thank you and see you on online then.